हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टेलिंग यू वॉट इज द मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर एंड द थोरिटिकल एंड न्यूमेरिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर अ मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर it is the defined as the average pressure which if acted on the piston of the cylinder of the engine during the entire power stroke or expansion stroke would produce the same work output as would be obtained for the actual cyclic process that means if this is a cylinder of a engine then you know that this this piston it moves up and down during the combustion process and when the combustion occurs the gas they expand they push it outwards and in section stroke this piston moves downwards and so a net force is acting on this piston that is equal to the mean effective pressure into the area that is the net force acting on this piston now we have to take some average value of this pressure that is acting on this piston just for the sake of calculation and at each and every stroke of the engine that means with time this pressure may vary all right so we have to take some mean value in order to do the calculation that is the mean effective pressure and now what is uh, the work done in the cycle now you know that any general work done it is equal to the mean effective pressure into area into some displacement here it is stroke because you know that pressure into area is force and force into displacement is the work done so that means work done per cycle it will be equal to the pressure here it will be mean effective pressure because we take mean effective pressure is for the sake of calculations so pm into area now this will be the force into displacement that will be stroke length my stroke length is the travel of the piston that is from the top dead center tdc to the bottom dead center vdc if you have not watched my engine terminology video you can click on the top right corner i appearing on the screen right now so that you may be familiar with these terms stroke tdc vdc etc and so work done per cycle would be equal to pm into the piston area that is a into stroke length l now area it will be pi by 4 d square because it is circular cylinder is circular so this area it will be pi by 4 d square now from here from this formula pm because work done per cycle is equal to pm into a into l so pm will be mean effective pressure will be equal to work done per cycle upon area into stroke length so area and into stroke length or in general area into some distance that will be equal to volume and it is said to be stroke volume that is the volume covered during one stroke it is the stroke volume so finally we get the mean effective pressure it is equal to work done per cycle upon area into length or stroke volume so work done per cycle upon stroke volume and now work done per minute it is equal to mean effective pressure into area into length into small n where small n is the number of cycles per minute and number of cycles per minute it is equal to capital n by 2 for four stroke engine and it is equal to capital n for two stroke engine where n is the revolution per minute or the rpm of the engine suppose engine is working at 400 rpm so small n it will be equal to 400 for two stroke engine and small n will be equal to 400 by 2 that is equal to 200 for four stroke engine n equal to 400 for two stroke engine n equal to 400 by 2 for four stroke engine 
all right and that you can put in this formula so you will get and here one formula is more that is indicated power and indicated power it is equal to the work done per second that means this pm into l into a into small n upon because this is in per minute that is kilojoule per minute this unit is kilojoule per minute and in denominator we have minute so one minute is 60 seconds so you write 60 so it will be kilojoule per second now so and we know that kilojoule per second is kilowatt so here even it comes kilowatt it is pm l a small n upon 60 kilowatt it is indicated power and the unit of mean effective pressure is generally taken in kilopascal all right and i hope you have understood what is mean effective pressure etc and uh, if you found this video helpful please press the like button do share this video on social media please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below you can watch other videos of on screen right now do check the description once for more of the videos and social media links and uh, i would be seeing you in the next video till then take care bye bye